Hey everybody, I'm at a customer's house working on in Navian NCB240 doing a flat plate heat exchanger. Um, there's a couple of videos online showing how to remove and replace the flat plate, which is located right back there. Um, I thought there were a couple of unnecessary steps in those videos, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to do it um, a little more quickly. Um, so you're going to want to remove the board this whole computer board um, you're going to undo the harness from the pressure switch the blue harness there um, I'm sorry that's the thermistor and then the pressure switch is up here I'm working by myself here so I'm trying to do camera and work at the same time pull this board away be sure that no water gets on this board as you release the flat plate some water will fall down into the cabinet, so be sure it doesn't hit that. So what I did was, there are two screws on the cold water inlet. Let me try to get you up in here. You can see the, the, the screws that are towards you, they can remain. The ones furthest towards the wall, you can remove those two screws, which will allow you to remove this elbow and there are a couple connectors like these uh, stainless steel clips that hold the flow meter onto the heat exchanger itself undo all those clips i believe there's one two there and then you can simply remove the elbow get that out of the way remove the flow meter from the heat exchanger get that out of the way um, and then there's the DHW outlet elbow. What I did there is I removed four screws. Uh, let me get you a better shot. So right up in here, there's one, two, three, four. I removed all four, but I believe you can just remove the left and right. And that will allow you to get this elbow out of the way. There's O-rings and all of this stuff, so be careful. And make sure that um, those O-rings stay in place and they're not lost. And then there's going to be two more clips. One up here. And then one at the bottom. I, they are already removed in this photo, in this uh, video. So now you can take the flat plate... Simply pull away, pull to the right, give it a little wiggle as you do with Navian. And finesse it out of the cap. There's a green ground strap that's going to be taut because of the hanging control. So that's going to get in your way. But other than that, you can pull that bad boy out right there. You don't have to take the gas valve apart. Really... I could probably do it in five minutes now. Um, and there you have it. We're going to install the new one there. And these are basically what I removed. Five clips. Those are the cold inlet screws. These four are for the DHW outlet elbow. And those three screws for the computer board. And that's it. Happy hunting, guys. Take care.